at the knee of Pete Carrill during his playing days in the Ivy League for the Tigers, but Richmond can score it. They average close to 70 per game in league play. And off the turnover right away, Derek Gordon able to score. Turnover is going to be key. Both of these teams can generate a lot. Trey Davis, the lob, kick out. Jabari Hines able to rattle down three. Jabari Hines found himself as open as he's going to be all game, maybe all season, and turned things up defensively. Too many open looks for Richmond. That's what I'm talking about right there, deflections. Look Numbers. Out. Look out. And the dunk. <laughs> Esho had teammates and options, but forget about it. Highlight reel dunk for the redshirt senior from D.C. I got to get the tape measure out because I think he jumped on the foul line on that one. Anthony and Klein have 15 of the 18 right now for Richmond. Yeah, those two have been a dynamite one-two punch. Nice play. Well, that time, the mismatch, no match. Lillane able to beat it. Great recognition. Nice pass. Lillane counted in the foul. Allen kick out. Trey Davis driving block by Lillane. You got numbers. You miss. Clark scores it. And he was fouled on that play as well. Richmond dodged the bullet there because that would have lifted the roof. And here in the next to last regular season game, two teams trying to grind down a win in a low scoring affair. Nice. Dante Clark and one. Two possessions in a row. UMass has gone to Dante Clark. And he's been able to turn that corner. And this time, Taylor draws the short straw. Too much contact up high. Too much body. Just one made three in the contest for UMass. Esho with the stick back and another timeout. But down four with under six left to go. Esho with that bucket does go over a thousand points for his career. So now they have three, and that's a great accomplishment when you can hit that thousand point mark. And Esho will forever be remembered in history in that thousand point club, and he does it doing what he does best, going to the offensive class and cleaning it up. But he'll seize a sweep this year by Richmond to their credit. Uh, the three does count. It's just the second of the night but it comes too little too late for UMass. Chris Mooney and the Spiders gonna head home. It'll be a happy charter flight back to Richmond after the win, their fifth in a row on the campaign.